Today we'll be learning two mitzvah. The first mitzvah is a mitzvah of mezuzah, as we say in the Shemach, Taftam al mezuzot beitecha avisharecha. You should write them on the doorposts of your homes and on your gates. In the mezuzah, it is written the first two paragraphs of the Shema. That means Shema and the paragraph of Vahaya im Shema. And the mitzvah is that every doorway should have on the right side of the way in which we enter the mezuzah on the bottom of the top third of the doorway. And it is a commandment to have one on every entranceway. That means any time when there is a any form of entranceway with, where there's also an overhang on top, whether it's an archway, and this would include um, garages, sheds, or even a closet, any room which is at least six feet by six feet, then one is obligated to put a mezuzah. Unfortunately, because there are in the market many mezuzahs which are not kosher, such as printed ones, so one should only get a mezuzah from a reliable source like a, a rabbi or a scribe, where even if they are ordered in bulk, the scribe will make sure to check each one and correct anything that needs correcting. Tefillin and mezuzot should be checked twice in seven years. That means every three and a half years. Um, the second mitzvah for today is the mitzvah for every man to write for himself a Torah scroll. As the verse in Hazinu and Deuteronomy says, Va'ata kisvu lachem hazot, and now you should write for yourselves this song. It's a mitzvah for everyone to write a Torah, or if one is not able to, then to pay for someone else to write it. I know this is Rambam tells us, even if someone inherited or got a Torah from someone else, he has still not fulfilled this mitzvah until he writes or pays for one to be written. Since even if there's one letter missing in the Torah, then the Torah is considered not kosher, so the Rebbe began a campaign in which every Jew can take have a part in the Torah by paying just for one letter. And just for pay, paying for one letter, because without it the Torah would not be kosher, it's as if now he has part in the whole Torah, and it, through this he will fulfill this mitzvah of writing a Torah scroll. And to, at the same time, he also becomes united with all Jews because all Jews, where we get our energy from, we get our life force is from the Torah. So through having a letter in the Torah, it actually gives us the correct type of energy that we need. So if you don't yet have a letter in the Torah, you could go on Chabad.org. There's a special Torah which was written for children as well. So you could take part either in the Unity Torah or in the children's Torah. The Rebbe also pointed to a verse in the book of Daniel in which it mentions of, about uh, that there will be a uh, unfortunate circumstance that there'll be trouble, but through those that have, for the, those that are written in the book will be saved.